Hello there. Congratulations on getting a new CypherRock X1. Now let's help you set up the CypherRock X1 for the first time. Connect your CypherRock X1 vault to your laptop. If you're using Mac, then you can connect the CypherRock X1 device with the USB connector which we provide in the box. The CypherRock X1 vault turns on and it says Follow the instructions on the SciSync app. SciSync is CypherRock's desktop app. Pause this video and download the SciSync app from this website which you see on the screen and install it. After the installation is complete, open the SciSync app. Before starting, make sure that you are in a safe and secure environment with an active internet connection. Press continue. This tutorial is for the first time CypherRock X1 users, so we will choose that option. Press continue. Read and accept the terms of service and privacy policy and press confirm. It's time to set up a password for the SciSync app. Now remember this one because if you forget it, you will have to reset the SciSync app. Don't worry, losing your SciSync app's password doesn't mean that you have lost your crypto. Enter the password and enter it one more time and press confirm. Your SciSync app password has been set successfully. Enter an email ID for two-factor authentication to get the authenticity results. After the onboarding is done, you will receive an email on this email ID with the authenticity results of the X1 Vault and the X1 cards. This way you don't have to completely depend on the sizing software to verify the authenticity of your device as this email is sent directly from our server. Press continue. Now your X1 Vault will be authenticated with our server to check for its authenticity. This process will confirm to you that you are actually using the CypherRock X1 Vault which we have sent you. On the X1 Vault, you get a joystick which is used for screen navigation. It's time to learn and test how this works. Now follow me. Up, right, down, left and center. Now you know how to use your X1 Vault's joystick. Tap any of the 4x1 card to the x1 vault to test the card tapping. Make sure you keep it tapped until you hear the beep sound to test the NFC communication. Now we will tap the 4 CypherRock x1 cards one by one in sequence to the CypherRock x1 vault. Make sure you keep the x1 card tapped on the x1 vault until you hear 3 beep sounds. The first and the second beeps are for card authentication and the third beep is for the card pairing with the device. Now follow me. Card number 1. Card number 2 Card number 3 And card number 4 Congratulations! Your CypherRock X1 is now ready to use. You still have to create wallets and add accounts in order to be able to send and receive crypto. But that is for the next set of tutorials. For now, welcome aboard and congratulations on taking the first step towards self-custody. 